I think that's what Moogie really struggles with, is getting those really good deck picks. So we'll have Juicy J join us again in a little bit. For now, let's go ahead and jump in to game number one. Already a little bit in progress between our 2021 world champion Moogie and our 2022 world champion Mohamed Light. Yeah, I mean, two of the best to ever do it in the game. You love to see it for match number one. And I really love what Juicy pointed out there, talking about Mo kind of getting in competitors' heads just because of his name. Uh, when you see that Muhammad light across me or light bulb or flashlight, whatever it might be, the intimidation factor is through the roof. And that's something that we even talked about last month in the interview, where it was so many of his competitors, the best players in the world, were making uncharacteristic mistakes because you got to admit, it's terrifying playing against that man at the top of your screen well so far no blinking in either direction clean sheet on Mohammed's side of the board a little bit of chip damage down there for Mugi as Mo cycles his arrows one more time interesting to see both of the guys coming out with the bird Phoenix in game number one yeah bird is really popular right now I mean I think it's one of those things where it never really went away that much but all the reworking on it maybe had people shy a little bit ago even though it was technically nerfed again I feel like because it was nerfed, people went and looked at it a little bit more closely, as they always do with cards that get reworked. And they were like, you know what? Bird's still pretty good. Let's let's have her hang around for a while. Minor Bird's caught. Her, right? Go ahead. <laughs> Did you remember to her? I actually don't know. I think it's just I think it's just Bird. It's it just Bird. bird. <laughs> so here we go. Giant skeleton deep in enemy territory, trying to get a little cheeky move here to get that giant skeleton on board. Doesn't quite do it as the bar barrel walks its way on back. And Moogie does go E Giant out the gate. He has not played E Giant with Fire Spirit very often. Little swerve here for Moogie in game number one. <laughs> yeah, and you're thinking, you know, top of your screen here with Mo, most likely gonna go to Graveyard. And he's just kind of hanging out, holding on, playing defense for as long as he can. I'm very curious if he's going to have the DPS to burn down these big pushes as we get deeper into double and triple. You can see right now, Moogie able to kind of slow play that for as long as he did. Does get the Golden Knight dash on tower. Does get that, I think this is the second or third Electro Giant down. So I'm worried about Mo being able to keep up, but it's Muhammad Light. I'm very curious about what Muhammad Light is saving the Electro Spirit for because he tends to play, and I mean, not Muhammad Light, Mookie. He tends to play Electro Spirit with Royal Giant, but that Royal Giant deck tends to run Lightning. So very curious to see how this develops as we go on. But for now, it's the lead for Mookie, 24-54 to 28-30 as we go into Sudden Death Overtime. Yeah, I mean, I'm curious if it's maybe just to save one of the other spirits, but it could be to help take archers off the board, right? If you can get a barrel or NATO plus a fire spirit, you can take care of archers, and he doesn't have a great way to get on top of them otherwise, but also try to find that. Oh yeah, I, wow, graveyard, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I keep forgetting that this is a thing again. This deck, this giant skeleton balloon deck is really, really popular right now, and it's really annoying to play against. Maybe that's why I blocked it out of my memory. Cannon doing its job, 2491, lead shrinking now for Moogie, if you look crosswise on our towers. As we go in the triple elixir, here we see Moogie starting to put up the pace. Electro Giant, Golden Knight, left hand lane, minor chip, will it be enough? And the late cannon, not gonna prevent that damage. Crazy. Crazy. High bomb tower here as another Electro Giant comes yeah, down. As we're in triple Elixir, this is where right things now. are going to get interesting. Mo, Mo not able to get a lot of damage, but he does have that damage lead. Obviously, Moogie has the spell power conversation taken care of, which is why you see Mo starting to cycle. And you see that. You see the balloon going away from the bird lane. And now Moogie doubling down on the Electro Giant plus Phoenix. Bar barrel behind. That balloon going to go to King Tower with the NATO. Miner getting its chip damage in. 25 seconds left. Mohammed Light playing a gem right now. Yeah, I mean, that 1939 on that bottom right-hand corner, this is kind of Moogie's last-ditch effort, and just a lightning won't be enough. You see the high bomb tower here met with the cannon. Beautiful stuff here from Mohammed Light. And, I mean, hey, man, that's about as clean as you can play it. Incredibly patient, bit of a missed call by me there on the desk in terms of the wind condition, but still didn't come out till the very end and was pretty much a non-factor. Just a little bit of damage there. Beautiful patience from the best in the world. GG, well played. Great first game here from Mohammed Light. Let's Didn't need balloon two. damage. Just needed that minor chip, a little bit of spell damage as well. And, you know, we take a look at this. NATO out on the side of Moogie. Mohammed Light 
Going with Minor Loon, we'll see if he is playing maybe Hog in here as a possibility. Yeah, I mean, with Giant Skeleton out, it seems a little bit less likely just because they've been coupled so much together lately. And then seeing Zappies could be Hogs, could be RG. RG has been pretty popular lately. Big shout out to Royale API. I almost forgot that we have this incredible stat sheet at our disposal. Uh, it's very similar to what we had at World Finals, so a lot of fun stuff on there. And when you look at what Moe's been playing, it's not very surprising to see Royal Giant come out here. He's been playing at 88% of his matches that he's been having here at CRL over the last couple weeks. Wall breakers will get one connection for Moogie, but the damage, the opposite, is absolutely wild. You see, wow. And yeah, Mohammed Light is absolutely tickled. Uh, maybe a little joking from his coaches. That is a lot of early damage that I don't think either player was anticipating. No, I mean, it's, it's game over, too. When you, I mean, Mohammed Light would have to have such a massive cascading of uncharacteristic mistakes to happen over the next two minutes because when you're looking at the deck that's being played by Moogie, yes, it can hit hard and it can hit fast, but when you look at all the control that Mo has, the ability to get on top of that drill, the ability to kind of stun and slow the Mighty Miner, and of course that Skeleton King to help with DPSing, and of course getting on top of the drill, it's just kind of a, an uphill battle no matter what, and then a terrible start for Moogie. And you can see how much both of the analysts for, uh, for Moogie and Muhammad Light are kind of going deep, digging deep oh here gosh. in this upper bracket matchup. Moogie so playing easy. two variations. He has not played yeah, against top 16 right opponents now. this entire month of April, right? So this drill variation, drill wall breaker is different for him than he's been playing no, throughout this competition right, so far. Okay. Same thing with that E Giant variation. You see Mohammed Light as well. So already very interesting oh to see the, the analysts going the extra mile to make sure this first match is a win. And everything is really bouncing in Mo's way. You see him smiling there, the What's Royal Giant you? body Mikey blocking those wall breakers here? just enough. He doesn't have to spend any more on them. The predictive Zappies getting on top of the Mighty Miner. I mean, it's just all kind of easy mode here for Mohammed Light. And, you know, you wonder if that moment in 2021 will be kind of Moogie's best moment against Mohammed Light. Obviously, a lot more to be said in 2023. Well, it's fascinating, too. Both of the times that we've seen them on a big stage, right? You, you have, or all the times we've seen them, right? You see, so you're talking about uh, in a golden ticket final where Mohammed Light won and so, Moogie got second, but got the golden super, ticket because Mo already had one. You talk about world finals in 2021. You talk about world finals in 2022. When these guys typically okay, meet each other, it's an elimination match. So this is one of the rare times that we see them go head to head in a competition where one of them still has a life to give. Moogie could come back and we could see the same thing roll through again one more time today. Well, I think that's a really fun thing that you point out because honestly, if you're in this competition, you want to be in the opposite side of the bracket as Muhammad Light. And if he's going to start off today being